Now I want to talk about file tracking statuses. There are four of them. Untracked, unmodified, modified and staged. You already saw such status as untracked when we created new files but have not yet added them to staging area. And also you saw staged status of the file when we staged file and moved it to the staging area. And also there are such statuses as unmodified and modified. And basically both files at the moment, file1.txt and file2.txt are unmodified. If I enter here git status, you'll see that there is nothing to commit, but those files, ls, are still present here in the git repository. And it means that in terms of git, they are now unmodified. There are no changes in those files to be committed. Status of those files now is unmodified. We could now modify any of those files and after such modification, file status transitions from unmodified state to modified state. Let's now try that in action and let's modify for example file1.txt. Let's do that here and we could use same command as we used before, command echo. Here let's type some changes in double quotes. Here let's add greater than sign and here let's add name of the file 1.txt and let's see what will happen. Let's press enter and now let's read contents of the file 1.txt. Cut 1.txt. And I see that the contents of the file were replaced with contents some changes. That's what this command just did. It replaced contents of the file 1.txt. If you want to add some lines to existing file, you need to use another operator to greater than signs. Let's try that and let's add one more line to this file 1.txt. Let's use same command, echo, other changes. And let's use here two greater than signs like that. And file name will be the same, 1.txt. Press enter. Let's read contents of the file again. Cut 1.txt. And I see now two lines. Some changes and other changes. Let's now observe status of git repository. Git status. And now here we see different output. Changes not staged for commit. And there is modified file. And here is file name 1.txt. Recap that before, after creation of such files as 1.txt or 2.txt, we saw that those files were untracked. Because at that moment of time after creation of the file, file statuses were untracked. They were not tracked yet by git. But now this file 1.txt is tracked by git. And we just modified this tracked file. And that's why now its status is modified. And git knows about that. And that's what tells us here. Such file is modified.